हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी बिगिन्स विथ द ल्यूकोसाइट्स और वाइट ब्लड सेल्स डब्ल्यू और वाइट ब्लड सेल्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ वाइट ब्लड सेल्स ग्रेन्युलर एंड अग्रेन्युलर ग्रेन्युलर मीन्स ग्रेन्युलोसाइट्स एंड अग्रेन्युलर मीन्स अग्रेन्युलोसाइट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू सी द ग्रेन्युलर सेल और ग्रेन्युलोसाइट्स देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रेन्युलोसाइट सेल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द ब्लड फर्स्ट वन इज द न्यूट्रोफिल सेकेंड वन इज द यूसिनोफिल एंड थर्ड वन इज द बेजोफिल राइट नाउ द अग्रेन्युलर सेल्स अग्रेन्युलर सेल्स आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स लिम्फोसाइड्स एंड मोनोसाइड्स लिम्फोसाइड्स अगेन हैविंग टू टाइप्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द देर स्ट्रक्चर एज वेल एज फंक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू डिवाइड द लिम्फोसाइड इन टू टाइप्स स्ट्रक्चरल डिविजन्स विच इंक्लूड द लार्ज लिम्फोसाइड एंड स्मॉल लिम्फोसाइड whereas the functional division includes the T cell and B cell or simply T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes normal count which is the most important normal count of wbc is 4000 to 11000 wbcs per cubic mm of the blood now we are going to see the identification points as well as characteristic markers or points of the different types of wbc first of all we are going to see the neutrophils or polymorphs which is the largest as compared to other wbcs in the concentration which is around 60 to 70 percentage diameter 10 to 14 micron remember the diameter of rbc is around 7.2 micron the diameter of rbc is around 7.2 micron but here the diameter of neutrophil is 10 to 14 micron fine neutral granules which is either basic and acidic pale violet color मल्टी लोब न्यूक्लियस दैट्स वाई दिस सेल्स आर नोन एज पॉलीमोब्स मल्टी लोब न्यूक्लियस द लोब्स ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस मे इंक्लूड फ्रॉम द टू लोब्स टिल द सिक्स लोब्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द एज द टू लोब न्यूट्रोफिल्स आर मोस्ट जुवेनाइल एज वेल एज द न्यूली फॉर्म्ड वेर द सिक्स लोब न्यूट्रोफिल्स आर मोस्ट एडल्ट or simply we can say the six lobe neutrophils are the senior citizens the function they are the phagocytic in nature and having a febrile response in conditions of fever in females we are going to find the bar bodies or drumstick appendage of sex chromatin in the 2 to 3 percentage so from the neutrophil we are able to identify the sex of the person but it it is present only in 2 to 3 percentage now the eosinophils eosinophils the concentration is compared to other wbc is around 1 to 4 percentage diameter 10 to 14 micron pink colored cytoplasm red and coarse granules the granules are acidophilic contain ecfa means eosinophilic chemoattractant factor a histamine and lysozymes bilobed nucleus which is spectacle in shape so here the lobe number 1 and it is the lobe number 2 and it having a spectacle shape as uh, it looks like a specks the function it is a uh, anti parasitic and anti allergic basophils 0 to 1 percentage as compared to other wbcs diameter 10 to 14 micron the shape of the nucleus either u shape s shape but mostly they are in a bilobe and uh, the both the lobes are attached in a s shape manner blue cytoplasm as you are you are looking in this photograph 
large blue basophilic granules obscured the nucleus that means the granules are also present over the nucleus so we are not able to clearly identify the two lobes of the nucleus so here you are seeing that the granules are most in uh, or the highest in number contain histamine heparin and ecfa ecf means uh, eosinophilic chemoattractant factor a it's a chemical it uh, not uh, specifically present in the eosinophil but still it uh, present in the basophils functionally similar to the mast cell lymphocytes 25 to 30 percentage as compared to other wbcs here the out of 100 wbc the highest number of cells which are the neutrophil and the second highest number of cells which are the lymphocytes diameter large lymphocyte diameter is a 10 to 14 micron where the small lymphocyte diameter is 7.5 micron just near to the diameter of rbc large blue nucleus as you are seeing in this this is the small lymphocyte and that is the large lymphocyte blue scanty cytoplasm functionally we divide the lymphocyte in two types first one is the b lymphocytes for the humoral immunity and t lymphocytes for the cellular immunity or cell mediated immunity here the large lymphocytes are the precursors of small lymphocyte monocyte which is around 2 to 8 percentage diameter 12 to 20 micron and monocyte is the largest blood cell abundant blue cytoplasm so this is the cytoplasm either u or kidney shape purple nucleus that is the nucleus which is kidney shape or u shape and eccentric it's a phagocytic in nature which forms macrophages in the tissue macrophages monocyte and large in the tissue which is formed by monocytes after migrating to the tissue so whenever the monocyte circulating in the blood they are still known as monocyte but once the monocyte coming out of the blood vessel and present into the tissue different type of tissue then they are known as macrophages once the monocyte is converted to macrophages, their, their size becomes increases. Now the leukopoiesis. Leukopoiesis is the development and maturation of different types of WBC. Here is the hemocytoblast or pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell which gives rise to myeloid stem cell and second one is the lymphoid stem cell. Myeloid stem cell which gives rise to the myeloblast as well as monoblast. Majorly all the WBC synthesis takes place from the myeloid stem cell. Myeloid stem cell divided into myeloblast and monoblast. So here the myeloblasts give rise to the neutrophils, eosinophils and basophils where the monoblast gives rise to the monocytes. Here the lymphoid stem cell which, which provide the precursors from the lymphocytes it is converted to the lymphoblast site granulocytes and monocytes mainly in the bone marrow where the lymphocytes mainly in the lymphogenous tissue leukopoiesis this process of leukopoiesis is stimulated by the interleukins as well as colony stimulating factors so the first stage is the myeloblast for before the myeloblast there is a myeloid stem cell as well as pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells are there so first cell is the pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell later is converted to the myeloid stem cell later it is converted to the myeloblast myeloblast converted to the promyelocyte promyelocyte converted to the myelocyte metamyelocyte band metamyelocyte leukocyte so here the myeloid stem cell gives rise to the myeloblast 
which step by step converted to the different type of granulocytes so here it's a neutrophil eosinophil and basophil now the another cell is the monocyte monocyte formation takes place from the monoblast all right so here the one one more time myeloblast is converted to promyelocyte promyelocyte is converted to myelocyte myelocyte converted to metamyelocyte metamyelocyte converted to band metamyelocyte and band metamyelocyte converted to different types of leukocytes mostly they are the granulocytes for example the neutrophils eosinophils and basophils and another stem cell is the uh, myeloid stem cell which is converted to the monoblast and monoblast gives rise to the monocytes which is a, a granulocyte cell now the lymphopoiesis which specifically for the synthesis and maturation of the process of lymphocytes so first of all hemocytoblast which is also known as phsc or pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell all right now this pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell or hemocytoblast is converted to lymphoid stem cell later the lymphoid stem cell converted to the lymphoblast lymphoblast converted to the pro lymphocyte pro lymphocyte converted to the lymphocyte and lymphocyte converted to the plasma cells and plasma cells gives rise to the for the different types of antibodies we will see later on but this plasma cells releases different types of immunoglobulins so here the lymphopoiesis is the development and maturation of specifically denoted to the lymphocytes first of all the cell is phsc or pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell or hemocytoblast which is converted to the lymphoid stem cell lymphoid stem cell converted to the lymphoblast lymphoblast converted to the pro lymphocyte pro lymphocyte converted to the lymphocyte here you already know that there are functionally two types of lymphocyte b lymphocyte and t lymphocyte in the initial phases lymphocyte formation process takes place in the bone marrow but here the cells which mature inside the bone marrow these are known as b lymphocyte and the cells which migrate from the bone marrow into the thymus and where the maturation takes place these are known as t lymphocytes now the functions of wbc phagocytosis it is mostly the function of neutrophils and monocytes immunity antibody formation by the b cells which is required for the humoral immunity activation of t cells which provides the cell mediated immunity or cellular immunity heparin formation which is a natural anticoagulant histamine formation antiallergic this is the function of eosinophils antiparasitic is also the function of eosinophils macrophage formation by the monocytes as i already told you that whenever the monocyte coming out of the blood vessel into the different types of tissue these cells are known as macrophages form endogenous pyrogens for example interleukin 1 now the leukocytosis as you already know that the normal wbc count is 4000 to 11000 wbcs per cubic mm of the blood whenever the count of the wbc is more than 11000 the condition is known as leukocytosis and whenever the count is less than 4000 the condition is known as leukopenia so first of all here we are going to see the leukocytosis where the wbc count is more than 11000 physiological causes and pathological causes first of all physiological causes physiological simply means it's purely normal and healthy condition in which we are going to find the leukocytosis so these are the causes or the physiological causes of the leukocytosis first one is the newborn babies more in the evening so as compared to morning or afternoon the wbcs are more in the evening exercise after meals stress pregnancy menstruation and lactation these all are the physiological causes of leukocytosis now the pathological causes pathological is purely abnormal things 
with the injection of adrenaline or noradrenaline there will be the increase in the wbc count steroids acute pyogenic or pyrogenic infection that means uh, posformic or fever producing infection leukemia is a cancerous condition where the wbc count is more than 50000 cells per cubic mm of the blood Now the leukopenia where the WBC count is less than 4000 WBCs per cubic mm of the blood and the causes purely the abnormal causes mostly starvation means a prolonged fasting condition typhoid fever viral or protozoal infection and bone marrow depression so these are the causes of leukopenia inflammation and role of neutrophils and monocytes so first line of defense so first line of defense means whenever some foreign material for example bacteria which enters inside our body so which cell first going to react or show the reaction toward that specific bacteria that is the first line of rea reaction that means the when the bacteria come to our body the macrophages are the first cell which going to attack and try to kill the bacteria second line of defense is the neutrophil third line of defense is the invasion of monocyte to form the macrophages and fourth line of defense is the increased production of neutrophils and monocytes all right so this is the first second third and fourth line of defense First line of defense is tissue macrophages, second line of defense is invasion by neutrophils, third line of defense is invasion of monocytes to form macrophages and fourth line of defense is increased production of neutrophils and monocytes. Lifespan of WBCs first of all granulocyte inside the blood the lifespan of granulocyte is 4 to 6 hours but in the tissue it lives longer slightly longer 4 to 5 days but it's a short run whenever the lifespan of granulocyte inside the tissue is much less than that of the 4 to 5 days in conditions of severe infection second is the monocyte 10 to 12 hours in the blood can live for months as macrophages third one is the lymphocyte circulate between lymphoid tissue lymph blood and lymph so this is the circulation of the lymphocytes from the lymphoid tissue again into the blood and out of the blood again into the lymphoid tissue live for weeks to months as per need now the leukemia it's a cancerous condition involving the wbc total wbc count is more than 50000 cells per cubic mm of the blood but here the most important thing we have to note that in the conditions of leukemia there are the immature and non-functional WBCs but in the conditions of leukocytosis where the WBCs are more than 11,000 cells per cubic mm of the blood these WBC are mostly mature and functional proliferate mainly in the bone marrow and lymphoid tissue involve other organs also leukemia is named according to the wbc's involved myeloid leukemia and lymphoid leukemia in conditions of myeloid leukemia we are able to see the increased level or count of different type of granulocytes for example neutrophils basophils and eosinophils as well as the monocyte which is a granulocyte cell but in cases of lymphoid leukemia we are going to find the increased level of lymphocyte Acute leukemia involves blast type cells and primarily affect the children. Chronic leukemia is more prevalent in older people. So here the acute leukemia mostly seen in the children and the chronic leukemia is more prevalent in older people. I hope you understood about the basics of the WBC.